I'm Donna and I'm from the Yoga Vine and today's half an hour class will be a strong creative vinyasa flow, uh, just enough to get you up and moving for the day, uh, a little bit of rest at the end so we'll get straight into it, come straight onto your backs and we'll lay down and just taking the knees up over the hips we'll drop our arms out to the side and twist over to the right, just a gentle twist to begin, you might even want to bring your right hand on top of that left knee and just squeeze down. Maybe even look over your left hand. A couple of nice deep breaths there. And then come back up to the middle. Just bring your knees back over the hips and over to the left. And then bringing that left hand on top of your right knee. This time stretch your right arm out. Gaze over the fingertips of your right hand. Nice deep breaths. Start to get a little bit of length through the spine, elongate through that right side. And then shift back up to the centre again. Rock yourself up to sitting and step straight back to downward dog. And stretch out your whole mat space. So feet all the way to the back of the mat, hands spreading, fingertips pressing into the floor. Drop your head through your arms. And if you need a little extra for your hamstrings, just bend and straighten the legs one at a time and just pressing the heel towards the floor. Continue to take those nice deep inhales and exhales. And then hugging those arms in towards the ears, just letting the head drop, the neck stretch out. One more nice deep breath. And then looking up to your hands, come up onto your fingertips and walk back. And we'll just hang the body down here. Just grab your elbows. If you want to come in a little deeper, wrap the hands around the back of the legs. Just figure eight the hands through. Grab your shins and drop back down again. And just a little rock of your weight forward. So you come out of the backs of the legs here and out of your heels and into the balls of the feet. And just start to lift your sit bones up a little bit higher. Engage your quads by drawing your kneecaps up. And release, walking yourself back into a downward dog. Just starting to feel your shin bones press back, your thighs spin back. Hug those arm bones back in again. Feel your middle upper back engage. And then looking up to the top of your mat, just walking the feet up to the hands. Take an inhale here and look up, lengthen. See if you can cinch your waist in a little bit here and then fold back down again on your exhale. On the inhale, bring both arms up. Interlock the hands together and take a little back bend here. And then exhale, bring the hands to the heart and all the way down to the floor, drop the head. Inhale, look up and lengthen and exhale, step or jump back to plank and lower all the way down, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra, or maybe lifting knees and thighs for up dog. And exhale, rolling over your toes, press back to downward dog. And take some nice deep breaths here, feeling the base of your down dog. So the hands and the feet really working into the floor and really anchor down. And just see if you can take the sit bones up that little bit higher, draw your front ribs in. And then inhale, look forward, step or hop the feet to the front of the mat. Look up, lengthen the spine, draw your shoulders away from the earlobes, fold it back down again. Inhale, come all the way up. And exhale, folding back down. Inhale, lengthen, shoulders back. Exhale, step or jump, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. And exhale, lift the hips up and back, downward dog. Squeezing those triceps in towards the ears. Just keep it really strong through the arm bones. Slide your shoulder blades back and down. Taking full breaths here. Really feel that lift away from the floor with the hands. Drawing the shoulders back, coming out of the wrists. One more breath. And then look forward, lift the heels, step or jump. Draw your heart forward, shoulders back, fold back down again. Exhale and inhale, come all the way up. 
Exhale, bring the hands to the heart. We'll bend the knees now and inhale. Exhale, bring the hands into the heart. Take your left foot off the floor and on your exhale, stretch to the back of the mat. Inhale here, reach both arms up. And exhale, bring that left elbow over to the right knee and twist. Just feel your heart lift up towards your thumbs. Drop both shoulders back. Keep really strong through that back leg and hug your right leg in. And then on your inhale, look down. We're gonna come back to the front and step the left foot back. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, fold forward and down. Inhale, look up, lengthen. Exhale, step or jump. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, lift the heart up and exhale, downward dog. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, hop your right foot and bring the left foot back to the floor. Inhale again, reach both arms and exhale, hands to the floor. Step your right foot back, downward dog. Nice big breaths. Hugging those front ribs into the body. Look forward, step or jump both feet. Look up, lengthen, shoulders back, fold, exhale. Then both knees, inhale, reach the hands. Exhale to the heart, take the right foot up off the floor, extend to the back of the mat. Reach both arms, inhale, and then exhale, right elbow, left knee, twist. So here is where you wanna try and lift the heart all the way around, looking up over that back shoulder. Keeping the face and the jaw soft. And then inhale, look forward. We're gonna to come to the center and step the right foot back. Inhale, reach up, exhale, fold. Look up, lengthen, inhale, step or hop. Chaturanga. Lift on up, cobra or up dog, exhale, downward dog. Take the right leg up into the air, look forward, inhale and hop the left foot. Stretch that right foot to the back of the mat and inhale, reach. Exhale, hands to the floor, step back to downward dog. Squeeze your inner thighs towards the back of the room. Keep lifting the sit bones up nice and high. Take one more breath. And then look forward, step or hop. Gaze up, belly in and fold, exhale. Bend both knees, inhale. And exhale, folding back down over the legs, bring the hands to the floor. Inhale, lengthen, look up. Exhale, step or jump. Lower down. On your inhale, roll over the toes, look up. And exhale, downward dog. Inhale, left leg goes back up, look forward, exhale, hop. Right foot, keep your left leg up this time. We're gonna leave the right hand on the floor, bring that left hand up and open half moon. So here you could look down. If you want to take a little bit more of a challenging pose, you could start to look up. Can we do that bit again? <laughs> start to look up towards that left hand. Keep the back leg really strong. One more breath. And then lift your left leg up just that little bit higher as you bring that left hand to the floor. Hop your right foot to the back of the mat and then release, downward dog. Inhale, right leg goes up. Exhale, hop and land. Keep your left, uh, sorry, your right leg up in the air this time. Hand up to the hip and open. So pushing through the ball of the back foot, gaze down or to the side or maybe up. Open the heart. One last big breath. And then squaring the hips back up as your right hand comes to the floor, hop the left foot back. Downward dog. Nice deep inhales and exhales and just feel the length on all four sides of your torso, so through the sides of your body and then the belly and the back. One more breath. Good, look forward, hop and land on your left foot. Keep your right leg up into the air. Take an inhale here and lengthen. And then on your exhale, swing that right leg all the way up. 
and grab hold of the knee. So you can stay here, keep lifting up. If you want to come in further, bring your hand to the outside of the right knee and grab the big toe with your first two fingers and then start to lift and lengthen that right leg out. Nice, deep inhales and exhales and feel that lift come from the middle of your chest. Keep the lower back nice and flat, tucking the tailbone under. Both shoulders back, especially the right shoulder, reach it back. And then from here, you're going to bring your left hand to the foot or the knee. So if you've got the knee bent, that left hand is going to now come to the outside of the knee. If it's straight, you're going to bring the hand to the outside of your right knee and then twist. Look back over that right shoulder. You may even want to extend that right arm out. And then bring it back to the front again. Release that right foot. Take it all the way to the back of the mat. Hands to the, uh, to the floor and stepping your left foot back, downward dog. On your inhale, look forward. We're going to take the left leg up into the air, hop the right foot. Good. Then start to roll all the way up. Come up into that standing. So knee is bent or the leg will be straight. You're going to grab hold of the big toe with the first two fingers and then slide the shoulder back. Right hand comes onto the hip. Lift the chest. Strong through your right leg. Lift up out of the arch. Some nice deep breaths there. Really feel the length of the spine, the crown of the head reaching. And then right hand is now going to come across to the outside of the foot or the knee. Left hand will go back and open it up. Hug your outer hip down towards the floor. Just staying with the breath. And then coming back to the front again, we're going to bring that left leg all the way to the back of the mat, hands to the floor, hop it back, downward dog. Deep inhales and exhales here, really feel that connection to the breath, slowing everything down. And then on your inhale, look forward, we're going to hop the right foot back to the front. So taking the left leg up into the air and hop. This time, keep your left hand down. Your right hand is going to come up to the hip. And we're going to start to twist open towards that right leg. So the right hand can just stay here on your backside somewhere, or you could take it up into the air. And just get really strong through both legs. See if you can reach the chest forward and twist, revolve the rib cage around to the side. One last breath. Bringing the right hand back to the floor, flatten the hands out, hop back, downward dog. Inhale and exhale. And then taking the right leg up into the air, look forward, hop your left foot. Right leg stays up, right hand will plant down, left hand comes to the hip and start to lengthen through the ribs. So start to twist open to the side, take that left hand up maybe, hug this left hip in, Stretch that right leg back. One more breath. And then left hand comes back down to the floor. Hop the left foot back. Downward dog. So walk all the way to the back of the mat now after all the twists and balances. And just start to bend your knees a little bit here now and bring the chest towards the thighs. Maybe the head can come to the floor. Deep breaths. Really expand your ribs out to the sides of your body. And then start to straighten back up again. Step back into a regular downward dog. Last big breath. And then look forward, step or hop to the front of the mat. Lift the heart, lift the gaze, and then fold back down. Exhale. Bend both knees, come into chair pose, inhale and exhale, straighten, bring the hands to the heart. So bring your right foot out to the side. We're going to turn the right foot to the front of the mat and the left heel out towards the back of the mat. Bring both arms up, take an inhale here and then exhale, reach, come down to the shin or the ankle and take your left arm up. And just see if you can roll the right shoulder back here a little bit, it has a tendency to roll in. And we're not really looking to twist too much. We're trying to keep the back flat. Gaze is up at the thumb. Soften through the jaw. 
Press both feet really firmly into the mat, especially your big toe knuckle of your right foot and the outside edge of your back foot. And then exhale, look down, inhale, come back to the middle, switch the feet around. Inhale and come back down again, exhale. Reach for the shin or the ankle, taking the right arm up. And then just see if you can take the back bend out of this. So just hug the ribs in at the front here, tuck your tailbone under, press into the outside edge of that right foot this time and the big toe knuckle of your left foot. One more breath. And then look down. On your inhale, come back up to the center and switch the feet back to the front, hands onto the hips. Inhale, look up and exhale, folding forward and down. And just reach the hands behind the back, open the chest up, inhale and exhale, folding over the legs, bring the arms over as far as you can. Just let the head be loose and hang it down there, no tension in the neck at all. One more breath. And then letting the hands go, bring them back onto the hips, inhale, look up. And exhale, release. Stepping back to the front of your mat. And take a breath in. And out through the nose. And then inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, folding over the legs. Inhale, look up. Exhale, step or jump. Keep the elbows close as you lower down. Inhale, lift the heart. And exhale, Press back, downward dog. Good, so we're gonna take the right foot back over to the front of the mat. So inhale it up, right foot. Exhale, step it all the way through. And then spin your back heel down, windmill the arms up, warrior two. And then from here, we're gonna come down and get a little bit more into the hip. So take an inhale, lift the ribs away from the pelvis and exhale, elbow to the knee. And if you wanna come in a little bit deeper here, I want you to come all the way down, wrap your left arm behind the back and bind. So you wanna try and grab hold of the hand at the back there. Ideally, you wanna try and grab your left wrist with your right hand, but if it's monkey grip, go with that. And then see if you can, again, roll the ribs up to the ceiling, drop that left shoulder down, squeeze, energetically squeeze the thighs together. And take one more breath. And then release. So we're gonna stay in this position, but come onto the ball of your back foot. Take your right arm underneath the back of the right leg and just hug it in as deep as you can. So you may stay here, reach the chest forward. Perhaps you wanna come a little bit further and try Kundinyasana B. So hands will be down on the floor. You're gonna to start to lift that right leg forward. Make it a little bit easier for yourself. Drop your left hip onto your left elbow and then take the leg off the floor. Reach the chest and then maybe jump back. Move through your vinyasa to downward dog. Good, so we'll do the left side now. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step it through and come all the way up, warrior two. So elbow to knee and just be here, opening the chest up, get some nice length. A nice long line from the heel all the way up to the fingertips. Otherwise, drop it down, take the shoulder all the way under the back. And as you can see, I want to reach all the way around and grab hold of this wrist. So the lower down you can get that shoulder and tuck under, the more length you've got to try and grab hold of that left, uh, right wrist this time. Roll the ribs up. Squeeze into the side of your right uh, left arm then. One more breath. And then looking down, we'll stay here. Turn onto the ball of your back foot. Take that left arm underneath the back. Reach the chest forward. You can stay here, breathe nice and deeply. Otherwise, have a little play with Kundinyasana B. So left leg comes up, make it easy, drop onto the elbow. Lift the chest, one more breath. And maybe jump back. And move through Vinyasa to Downward Dog. And then when you're ready, looking forward, step or jump both feet. Lift the gaze, draw the belly in, drop your shoulders and fold. Inhale, roll all the way up. Take the arms above the head, inhale. 
and exhale, just folding down and taking the feet hip width apart. Grab hold of the elbows, let the head hang. And again, just feeling the length in the hamstrings, rocking the weight out of the heels and come more into the balls of the feet. One more big breath. And then look up, lengthen, plant the hands down, step or jump. Chaturanga, inhale to cobra or up dog and exhale to downward dog. Feet together, lift the sit bones up nice and high. And then looking forward, we're gonna come through to sitting and lay all the way down on your back again, taking that twist that we began with. So feet up, knees over the hips, drop over to the right and bringing that right hand onto the knee, stretch the left arm out, maybe take the gaze over the fingertips and just notice the twisting. Notice how there's a little more length there. You may even get your shoulder to the floor this time if it didn't quite make it down on the first time. And then on your inhale, come back to the center Bring your hips in line with your knees, knees in line with the hips, and over to the other side. Left hand on right knee, look over the fingertips, stretch it out. And just draw the tailbone down towards the heels, as much length as you can get. Right shoulder to the floor. And then coming all the way back to the center. Rock yourself up to sitting and come into cross legs. So we're just going to fold forward over the legs here. So if there's any issues with your knees, you can stay in a cross leg. Otherwise, I want you to try and bring the foot up on top of that left knee, heel hanging over the edge there, and just try to press the knee down as much as you can towards the left foot. And then from here, take an inhale, lift up, and exhale, fold forward over that leg. And just really grounding down through both hips. So you start to feel that right hip pressing into the floor. Relax both shoulders. And then inhale, come all the way back up. We'll take this foot further over now and bring it to the floor and start to bring your left heel in a little bit closer. And we're going to twist over this right knee. So hug around the front of the shin bone, looking back. And if you want to come a little bit deeper into this, Bring the elbow over, or you could snuggle that left arm through the gap in the leg, reach back, go for that twist again. And looking over the left, uh, the right shoulder, I'm sorry, over, reaching as much of your chest through as you can. Really ground down through your right hip here. It'll probably try to lift off, especially if you've gone for the bind. Press down really firmly. And then looking back, release, come to the other side. So left in front, you can stay in that cross leg or bring the right foot up on, uh, sorry, left foot up on top of the right knee and press down as much as you can that left knee towards the other foot and then fold forward. So just reaching out, walk the arms over the cross of the legs, drop the head down. I'm just gonna come right into that left hip now. So it might be one of your sore points. So if that's the case, just go easy on yourself. Don't overdo anything. As soon as you start to feel like there's any pinching going on, just back off a little bit. And then inhale, come all the way up. Take the left foot over to the floor now. Bring that heel in a little bit closer. So stage one, just wrapping and twisting. If you want to come a little further, elbow over, twist. Or if you're coming all the way in, tuck the right arm under the back, reach back with that left hand and twist. Look over the left shoulder. And again, just pressing down through that left hip. Lift the heart. Soften the shoulders. One more breath. And release, coming back to the front. So take the soles of the feet together now. Knees out wide. Bring the hips up as close as you can to the heels. Open the feet up like a book. Take an inhale, lift, and then exhale. Bring the chest down towards the feet. Doesn't matter if you don't get very far here. What I want you to feel for is a length in the back. So if you start to feel any pain in the knees, you'll just back off a little bit, sit up a little higher. You might even want to bring your feet further away from you so that you don't feel it in the knees. Broad through the collarbones. Last breath. 
and then come all the way back up again. Step yourself back to downward dog. So you might want to cross the legs and roll over the feet and step back. And just feel the hips. Again, feeling into the spaces that you felt at the beginning, the tight bits that you might have had at the beginning, just noticing any space, any length that's come into the body since we started. And then looking up to the top of the mat, step your right foot through, drop onto your left knee. We're going to walk the right foot all the way over to the left side of the mat and drop the knee down. So at this point, you may want to bring the heel in a little bit closer towards you. Uh, if you're a little bit uh, weaker in the hips um, or you feel unstable, then you'll just maybe even want to put a block underneath that right hip. So just come on to the mat as square as you can and then take a nice big inhale, get some lift in the chest and exhale, bow over that front leg. So you might want to stay on the forearms or if you can, you could get all the way down and drop the head. We'll just take a few breaths here, not going to stay for too long. And just keeping those right toes flexing. Try to bring your left hip forward, your right hip back. And then start to move yourself back up. Lifting both knees off the floor and step back to downward dog. And then taking the left foot forward, right knee down. Walk your left foot over to the right and bring the knee down to the left. And then square up as much as you can, back toes flip under. Take a nice big inhale, get some lift in the chest and then exhale. Just bring your chest and your rib cage over that front leg. You can easily just be here on the elbows. If that's enough for you, stay with what feels good. If you can get a little bit further down, then stretch the arms out, drop the head. And just flexing the toes of the left foot. Draw that left hip back, bring your right hip forward. And just feel that stability and strength in the lower body so you can release a little bit further. You can grow a little longer in the spine. And then start to move yourself back up again. Lifting up both knees, step back to downward dog. And then look forward, drop onto your elbows, one elbow down at a time, grab the hands together. And just pressing the head back towards the thighs. Just taking a little bend through the knees. Keep wrapping your shoulder blades, the scapula comes around your rib cage and trying to bring the tips of your shoulder blades together in the middle of your back. So fully supporting the arms pressing into the floor. One more big breath. And then look forward, press back up onto both hands, back to downward dog. and then drop both knees down. We're finishing with headstand today. So hands down on the floor in a tripod headstand variation now. So if you imagine a triangle on your mat, your head is the tip of the triangle, the top of the triangle, and your hands will be the base of the triangle. So that's a good model to go with when you're practicing headstands. Definitely try it on a wall if you're not familiar with it. Um, and you can stick with this pose while you're building strength. So this is our dolphin pose, our preparation for headstands. So the pose we just did, can be something that you can do for a while until you build up some strength in the shoulders. So otherwise coming into that headstand with the tip of the, the head on the tip top of the triangle and the hands at the base of the triangle here. Keep your elbows squeezing into the body. Come up onto your tippy toes and then walk. Closer and closer and closer until you're really light on your toes. The sit bones are up nice and high. Hopefully you can see that my hips are up over my shoulders. And then either bend the knees in to feel that balance first, or if you're used to practicing your headstand, you're gonna try and come up. Both legs, draw the belly in, squeeze those elbows. You can press through the balls of the feet or you can flex the feet. Personally, I prefer to push up through the balls of the feet. Keep pressing the floor with the palms, keeping the shoulders and the ears 
away from each other, just a nice distance for the neck. And then you may want to come down halfway and hold. Three, two, one, go all the way back up. And then start to lower down, either bending the knees to bring the knees into the chest and roll down, or come down the same way, lower down halfway. And release. Hands to the floor, take them behind you, just let your head, the forehead be really heavy on the floor, the arms quite soft and the shoulders rolling. And then start to lift back up, bring the hands down, step yourself back to downward dog. Last one. And looking forward to the front of the mat, come through, laying all the way down for Shavasana. So, you, you know, if you've got the time in the day to spend a good five minutes in Shavasana, it's really nice to have that length of time. But if you're a bit pushed for time, a couple of minutes is good. Just put on some nice relaxing music. You can definitely pause this video right now if you want to take a much longer Shavasana. Otherwise, we'll just be here for a minute or so. Just allow the body some time to fully relax. So shake out the feet. The backs of the knees soften. Sometimes I like to bring my feet up, tuck my tailbone under, and then lower back down again. And just keep that softness in the face through the forehead and eyes and jaw. Just let everything go. Return yourself to a regular breath. And just returning to a deeper breath. Inhale through your nose, out through your mouth. Wiggle the fingers and toes and gently lift the knees up into the chest. Hug them in. You may want to rock up and bring your nose up to your knees. And slowly roll over to the right. Bring yourself all the way back to sitting. Bring the hands into the heart and finish. Thanks, namaste.